Hey everyone, what up? Luke here from What Tech Review, here with a review of Mego. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up Mego and I'm gonna run it in VirtualBox. And I will give you a little background about Mego while it starts up. So basically, Mego is a program or operating system that was introduced by Intel and Nokia at Mobile World Conference in February of 2010. And that's kind of like this big conference with a bunch of like new like mobile tech stuff. And basically what Mego is meant to be is kind of like a very simple and easy to use netbook operating system that's based off of Linux, kind of like Jolly Cloud. And overall it does kind of the same things as Jolly Cloud but it doesn't offer as many apps like Jolly Cloud did where you could download like everything just built into Jolly Cloud but it does have a really simple to use and easy interface and once you start using it you can see that it's like meant for a netbook but it works really well and it might be a teeny bit laggy on the virtual machine since it is um, in a virtual machine and it's not running on a real computer but it's really fast once you have it on a real netbook so we're just waiting for it to start up and of course it'll start up faster on a real machine and you can see the little cursor as we just wait for it to start up and this is just a really great operating system and of course everything will be in the bottom all the links and where to get VirtualBox as well as our full review. Okay, so when you open up Mego, you're brought to the Mego homepage. And this is where most things will be when you go here. You can see you have your appointments here, which I have none, and your tasks. And this is kind of like just your updates for everything that's going on. And that way, once you turn on your computer, you can see everything you have for the day and everything you need to do. Right next to that is the zones. And basically what zones are is, I can show you a little more later, but when you open up an application, the open application gets put into the zones. And I'm just going to switch to full screen. Next to zones, we have our applications, of course. And Mego comes installed with a few applications, such as their mail application. which is just loading up. And remember, this is on a virtual machine, so it's not going to be as fast as it would be on a real computer. But as you can see, it uses the basic um, Linux programs, such as Evolution Mail. And this version of Mego also comes installed with Chromium Web Browser, but they also have another version with the Chrome Web Browser built in. And we'll just show you how that looks. once it loads up. And overall this is a really good operating system and it may look a little slow here but it does work really really well. And on a real computer it's really speedy and fast. So to the right of the um, applications is the status. And basically here you can look at like other people's statuses if you add a web account. So if I click add a web account, it'll bring me to a bunch of options where I can choose to add things like Twitter or Last.fm. So you can check your Twitter newsfeed there and stuff or Last.fm and it's just really nice to have it all built in. The next tab is people and basically it explains itself. You can add your IM and stuff in messengers and it's basically just to connect with other people. Um, once again, we have our internet tab, which I showed you. And you can see all the tabs that are open. We have one tab open on Wet Tech Review. And then we have our favorite pages, which is at the bottom. Next to that is the media player. And the media player, I think, looks pretty good for this. I mean, it's... It could be improved, but it looks pretty good for 
the operating system. And, I mean, it's not like the most amazing thing, but it's pretty decent. But right now I have nothing in here to demonstrate. And then to the right of that is devices. And basically what devices is, is it is a place where you can manage everything. You have your volume, music, pictures. So basically it's kind of like Finder or Windows Explorer and settings and everything's in here where you can manage all your files, Your you can see your battery, um, you can see how much storage is used, the volume, everything's here. And then finally on the other side we have things like the Bluetooth controls. So if you want to connect a Bluetooth device to your computer, the internet connection, and then we have our date and time over here if it loads. Yeah, so here's our date and time. And over here you can see the time. You can add different times. We have our appointments and tasks, which uh, are here just like they were on the first page. And we have our little battery icon. And basically this is just a really good operating system. I mean, it's not the most complex or greatest, because I think I prefer something like Julie Cloud over this that gives you the chance to like install all these apps that are built in with its own app center and but this is a pretty good operating system and it's really simple to use so if you're looking for some simple and easy um, operating system that can just get you on the web and keeps everything really organized this is it but if you want something that gives you a better range of applications and games and things like that you might want to go to Jolie Cloud because it just offers more than this because it's been out there longer. Migo is only about a year old and Jolie Cloud's been out there a few years now so it's your choice of course but Migo is a really great app the links in the description as well as a link to get a uh, virtual box as always, you can read our full review and others at wettechreview.blogspot.com. If you ever have any suggestions for reviews or want to send us anything in the mail to review, please shoot us an email at wettechreview at gmail.com. And as always, rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you next time.